Butterflies are making their annual fall migration through the Central Coast and Northern California, putting on a, quite a show at the Natural Bridges State Park in Santa Cruz. Action News reporter Phil Gomez was out there today. He's live with more. Well, Dan, the monarch butterflies have arrived. Every year, thousands upon thousands of them return, and just as many people go out to visit them. We do celebrate the season of them coming back for the winter, and they're usually here till at least December and sometimes return, um, start going back January. The monarch butterflies are so popular that for the past 35 years, a welcome back festival is held at Natural Bridges to celebrate their return every second Sunday in October. It won't be known until next month how many have made the migration. This year, it's really, it's really hard to say. It's still early in the season. We don't do our counts till uh, the week of Thanksgiving. Uh, they have been in decline by about 90% or more across the United States. The drought may have played some role in the drop in numbers, but the real culprit is urban development and the use of herbicides. Development and um, herbicide use has had the biggest effect over time. And uh, with the drought, it's hard to say if there's a lot of rain in the east side of the Sierras or the high country in the end of summer, then our numbers are okay. Now is a great opportunity to watch them fluttering among the eucalyptus, adding orange and black color to tree canopies. It, it's gorgeous. I love the, the smell of the eucalyptus and just the, the motion of the butterflies. They're very hard to photograph, but it's, it's very nice. For visitors, it is nice to see them float among the trees. The best way to view the butterflies, I think, is to just look up or look on the trees and look for some of the orange spots or leaves you think they are. They're very, very strong for such a delicate animal that um, they can fly up to 3,000 miles, which is pretty incredible. Um, and they can go up to 25 miles an hour with a good wind. Yet, you know, they, they're very delicate. And every Saturday and Sunday throughout the season, the park the par offers the public tours at 11 in the morning and 2 in the afternoon. Dan? All right. Thank you very much, Phil. During the week, the park is usually filled with elementary school children. They get a chance to actually see those, uh, see those, uh, those butterflies up close, watch, and learn about them as well.